Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Marketing Workshop, and in today's training, I'm going to be talking about making food recipes in WordPress. So you might have a food-related business, or you may want to record your family's recipes. I am a big foodie. I love to cook. I love to go to restaurants. I love to talk about food, and so this is an awesome plug-in that I'm super excited about teaching. Now, I wanted to show you just a couple of my students, and I know I have many more, who have food business websites. So this one is Deborah, and sh her site is Vegilicious Kitchen, and she is using the plugin I'm going to be demonstrating today. And so does uh, this gal, Cindy. She's got a food, food sensitivity kitchen, so she helps people with food sensitivities, so she's got special recipes for that. And she is also using this plugin. So both Cindy and Deborah are using the professional version of this plugin that I'm going to be teaching. And my personal website, so it's a screenshot here, I'm using the free version. And I'll talk about a little bit about the differences. So the plugin we're going to be using is called WP Recipe Maker. It is very, very popular. And I will go, I will be showing you exactly how to install it. So this is the free version, which you can find at, at WordPress.org. And then there's a pro version at christinasresources.com forward slash WP Recipe Maker Pro. And um, we will uh, put that uh, in the chat and get that link out to you if you want the pro version. Now, I don't know all the differences between the free and the pro, but I know a couple of differences. The pro version has nutritional information. So if you are doing this for a business site, you might want to have the, pro the nutritional information for people. Um, since I'm doing it for my own personal site, I don't really care. I might at some point upgrade so I can get that in, so I can see the calories and sodium, sugars, etc. Uh, the other thing, so this is a pro version from Vegilicious Kitchen. The other thing the pro version has is conversion calculators. So if you want to increase, so this is like servings for four, there's an easy click of the button and it will recalculate everything if you're making it for a different, um, um, you know, number of people. So that's what the, the pro version will do, the conversion calculator and this, uh, recipe here, this screenshot is from the Food Sensitivity Kitchen website. All right, so here are the steps, the steps to add a recipe to your website. So install the free WP Recipe Maker plugin, or it could be the pro one. Uh, create the recipe in the plugin area, add the recipe to a page or a post, and then publish and view the page or the post. So I'm going to walk through these steps. So let's dive in and go ahead and make a recipe.